When dowsing for water, we need to find a true good potable water source. Now using Omega disc, this is a coloured disc that has different colours on it. Uh, particularly we are looking for blue water because that is drinking water. If we go for green, that is particularly water for animals. Purple or violet is particularly the water that you'd have for a good um, spiritual water source. The other colours can associate to um, yellow for electricity, red for BT, maybe grey for the gas mains. But we particularly don't want black water because that is not going to be suitable drinking water. As we walk along I'll hold the mega disc in one hand and put my thumb on the blue bit asking for a very good water source, one that's suitable for drinking for people. So please show me a good water source. Now my rods are directing me and they will wind around and wind around taking me to a good source. Now normally I would map dowels before I came to a place. It's taking me over here and by that I'd find um, on the map maybe two or three locations where I'd find a good water source and then that would um, help me find, here we are, and by dowsing, map dowsing on a map I'd find a good water source and then I wouldn't have to walk all the way around the fields or the garden or anywhere else looking for a good water source. Now I've come across a good water source here, just check it again, just walk away to make sure that that is a true good water source. walk back to it again. Right, so we've got good water here. Now I want to know which way it flows. So the rods are telling me it's flowing in that direction. So the other thing I need to know is how deep down is it before I have to um, dig? Because we need to know that the water source is not too far down. So we can use the bishop's rule here by walking out using our feet as 10 foot per step. So it's telling me that it's about 30 foot down. So just to check, we can walk out in the other direction. So we go back again. Go back to the water source and check the other way to see if it is. Again, it's 30 foot down. Now what I need to check is again, when we're on this water source, I need to check, is it an underground pipe? No. Is it of good potable water quality that is suitable for humans? Yes. Is it something that can be drilled here? No. So it wouldn't be a good idea to have a drilling rig in this particular vicinity. So that's another thing you'd have to ask. Another thing you'd have to ask as well is what is the um, gallons per minute, the rate of gallons per minute. Because if you had a regular household of say um, four people living in the house and you'd want um, water for baths and showers and cooking, we'd want at least 25 gallons per minute. So is this 25 gallons per minute? Yes, so it's a good water source. And those are all the things that you need to know. And when marking out, I did bring markers with me so we could mark the route. Um, and that's what you'd normally do, you'd mark the route of the river and you'd mark any more good water sources. But we won't do that at this present time. When we're looking for a good water source, what you can also do is, is just use one rod and use it to locate the source. Please show me a good water source. And then your one rod will direct you. And we can use the rod as a direction finder, so you don't have to use both rods. We can use this as a direction finder to find a good water source and lead the way. Now if at any time you feel you're not connected again, you connect yourself to the source of the water and again point you in the right direction. So please show me a good water source, one that's got good potable water. And again, we've come to a good water source. Now I'll just check with both rods now that I'm at a good water source.